it's been five months. Five months almost since they've had my Beamer. Um, and I was like thinking about it the other day and I'm like, oh yeah, I still own the Beamer. It's just been sitting in a shop and they've been trying to like, again, this mechanic is a friend of a friend and it's a very old school, like known mechanic in town and they're good people and they will take care of people to feel, you know, if you're in the know and you're a friend of a friend. So like the reason my Beamer has been sitting there for so long because some people are like, why is it taking so long? If I wanted to pay out the nose to get it fixed from like top to bottom, it would have been done when I wanted it to be done. Um, I the this is one of those things. Anyone who's a tradesman will back me up on this. When you know somebody or somebody's trying to help you out by not charging you a lot, but also not fucking cutting corners and selling you shit parts or whatever. Um, you become a very low priority. You know what I mean? Because I've had some people ask like, what's taking them so long? These people must suck. And I'm like, no, this mechanic's amazing and he's doing me a favor. And it's one of these things where it's like, all right, I'm doing you a favor, but you understand you will always be the lowest priority. <laughs> so that's been my problem. Um, so to anybody, it's like, oh, what happened with your car? And what? it's just like, it's still sitting in the shop. What, what are they fucking retards over there? And I'm like, no, they're amazing. And they're going to take very good care of me. But it's just, that means that it's like, yeah, you're always on the back of the line. <laughs> we don't care about your shit. And they've been seeking out the, like, you know, whatever, some shit that happened with my car. So <clears throat> um, I'm going to get it fixed up. I'm going to probably have to sell it at a loss. But I didn't want to let that car just die because of a couple bad parts. And especially since I had already done so much work to bring it back to life. So um, I'm going to probably have those two cars. Um, whatever. So um, whatever is what it is. Uh, <laughs> True Wolf says, mm, that sounds familiar. True Wolf, you got to fucking. Oh, God damn it. I still owe True Wolf money. I got to pay him too. Um, <laughs> just hit me up, True Wolf. I just, and True Wolf tries to be cute sometimes. And I'm like, how much do I owe? Uh, I already told you. And I'm like, well, I don't know. Stop being a woman. And if I ask you why you're upset, don't say. If you don't know, I'm not going to tell you. Just tell me what I owe you. Um, and if you're afraid of like ripping me off because you, oh, I don't know if it's, damn, I can't remember if it's, you know, 350 or 300. I don't care, man. I'm fighting with the IRS at this point. You know, true story. I, my tax attorney hates me, by the way. So we had like everything all settled with the IRS. It was ready to go. <coughs> and then these assholes. And I know it's like probably trolls and Redditors and shit that like just they probably have contacted the IRS a thousand times. Um, so every time like shit looks like it's done, then they're like, oh, I don't know. There might be another like they're just nickel and diamond me, right? So they want to fight over this a little bit. So now they want to fight over the night wave radio I shit you not now they want an itemized amount of night wave radio crypto donations and i'm sure most of you are already laughing because you see the show you see how much i make you see what level i'm at like you all understand my crypto donations are next to nothing but it, that's a whole like that's a half a day of me hunting down receipts and looking up things and on like a saturday when i'm off and i don't want to do like so i just got to the point where my um um but yeah so they they did this um whatever like this break and like well we want to know it like so we were just at the end and they keep nickel and dying and we got to that and they go well now they want to know about this and i was like look bro i'm getting to that point where i don't fucking care anymore like i was like at this point i make pretty okay money and He's like, no, I know, but they're just bean counters. I'm like, no, I understand that. But do you understand that I get to a point where I'm I'm making okay beans, but I don't I'm I'm done. I've put tens of dozens of hours into fucking trying to satisfy these people and finding some obscure login for some old account to show them some and I'm tired of it and I was exhausted. And it got to the point where I was just like, look, man, just tell them what the fuck just tell them to tack it on. I don't care anymore. I don't care anymore, dude. Just fucking charge me. I don't care. I'm tired of this shit. 
It's also tiresome. It's like, just, just whatever, man. Just bang me for what you want to bang me for. But I'm not wasting a whole Saturday afternoon chasing another thing I already sent you once and you didn't get it. <coughs> I'm not doing that anymore. And then I just realized, like, that's the trap they want you to fall into. They want you to just, like, even my lawyer was like, that's what they want you to feel. And I'm like, nah, I get it, but fuck. <coughs> <laughs> I'm not wasting my afternoons anymore. Just make up a number and I'll fucking figure it out. Uh, let's move on. So anyway, like I said, uh, Bad Luck Boys here. Um, go check them out. <laughs>